guys, Jack Office Pro here, and today we have a really exciting review because I have finally gotten my hands on the Freddy Frostbear plushie and action figure thanks to Funko restocking them. I'm actually really glad that Funko restocked these guys, especially with how rare they're becoming nowadays. It is nice for some people like me who don't have easy access to stores like Walmart to get them, so good on you, Funko. And now, let's take a look at, first of all, the plushie. I will say, this is a pretty darn good plush. Now, unfortunately, this guy isn't free of problems. Now, I'm not entirely expecting perfection because, to be fair, this is a relatively cheap plushie, only $12, but still. Like, for example, he's missing a bit of detail, like the ice on his ears, and they could have had the cracks, but I don't know how that would work, so... That's really the only problems I have with this guy. Also, with mine specifically, the bow tie seems to be falling off. Ah, whatever. I can fix that with a bit of sewing. Anyways, onto the positives. I actually really like how they use the old style of Freddy rather than the Rockstar Freddy. Because as much as I love Rockstar Freddy, this is a very nostalgic look. And I also really like the tag. Weird how it has the... Only at Walmart symbol, even though I got this off of the Funko.com restock. That's strange. But, anyways, a lot of people aren't really a fan of this material being used for the hat, but honestly, I kind of like it. It looks more like Frostbear's hat in the game, to be honest, because it has a more rough-looking texture rather than the soft hat that Freddy has. I just like that look. The eyebrows do look a bit weird because they use those flaps. I don't really like those, kind of like how Bizza Bizbow doesn't like them, but honestly, at the same time, it is really nostalgic because the old plushies had this. And I also like how they made the eyes flat. The These work better than the poofy ones, considering that Frostbear's eyes are like a hollow black thing with the pupils in there, so that really works. This is a pretty cute plushie. Really like them. Here's them compared to Freddy. So I, so I am going to keep the tag because I like keeping the tags of exclusive plushies because of how unique they are. So I'm going to just put this with my other exclusive tags. So we got Security Breach. I know it's not really an exclusive, but I got off the Vanny plush that I have. And then Captain Foxy and Phantom Balloon Boy. So that's poggers. Now let's get to the action figure. So let me just do a bit of... Uh, here is the legendary Frostbear. So let's just... Pop this ice skull out. <laughs> oh boy, I forgot about these little straps. Excuse me for a second. And I will keep the box too, because this is actually the first of the exclusive FNAF figures I've ever gotten. Yeah, I know, that's sad, but I didn't really con collect the FNAF figures or start really collecting them until the Dreadbear wave, so yeah. I'll just get the rest of Frostbear out, where you have the ice skull here. Can't be a FNAF figure, but I'm breaking apart, right? <clears throat> Alright, oh. Oh, wow. He actually got out in perfect condition. So, that's cool. Let me just attach his ice skull. I have to stop the clip real quick because I only have one hand to operate with because the other is holding the camera. Now, another reason why I'm keeping the box is because I just really like the way it looks. I like how it has a similar look to the tag on the plushie. And I also really like the sticker here with the name on it. And I love his pose on the back, too. Uh, and it's also funny how it says collect them all, even though this one is a literal one-of-a-kind figure. But anyway, onto the actual figure itself. Now, I'm going to start with the problems and then end with the positives, because, you know, it's always good to end on a positive note. So, he is kind of wobbly. Not too wobbly, though. And also, uh, his hat doesn't have the same rough texture that he does in the game. Or at least I think it doesn't. And also, he's a bit too transparent, because he's not really transparent in the game, but at the same time, it's not the worst thing ever, because it actually makes him look at, uh, look like ice. And now we're moving on to the positives. Oh yeah, and I'm not complaining about this thing, because they made him transparent to look like actual ice, so I will skip that complaint, because it actually makes him look a bit cooler, in my opinion. Ha ha ha, ice pun. Ha ha ha. And the icicle prop is pretty cool. Love how it has the little thing on top. And they removed the hat stripe and the upper teeth, and that's really cool. I hope they 
re release a version of Freddy without the upper teeth because it makes them look less uncanny whenever they don't have the upper teeth. So that's a problem I have in general with a lot of the figures because they have upper teeth most of the time, even when they're not supposed to. But either way, I really like this figure. I like how it has a different color for the feet, just like in the game. And another thing I love is the detail on the ears, because unlike the plushie, it actually has the ice on the ears. And the face looks super accurate to how it does in the game. And I love how they actually add the cracks too. Now, I understand that this has more details than the plushie, because plushies are meant to be a simplified version of them. Well, this is like a detailed figure, like a version of it from the game. So, yeah, here's my little pose for him. Not really like his pose in the game, but still cool. So yeah, overall, I would recommend both of these guys. They are on Funko.com, so you can nab these suckers if you want them. I would really recommend the figure because of the accuracy, well, except for the colors, but it makes them look more like ice, so I don't have a problem with that. And the plushie, too, I would recommend. It's definitely a great example of less is more, because unlike Shadow Freddy, it, this is actually... This character is actually a recolor Freddy in the game, so it makes more sense to recolor him. And literally the only thing he's missing on are the ice on his ears. And I could imagine this is how the Fazbear Funtime service would make their Frostbear plush anyway. Because, I mean, it is a slightly different Freddy, so, you know. Anyways, thank you for watching today's review, and I'll see you all in the next one. And Frostbear will see you all in the Nightmare arc. And the figure will, um, I might make a stop motion of his workshop animation, I don't know. Bye.